All right, guys, this is a quick video to uh, demonstrate the uh, FC200. Um, we're going to go ahead and attempt to clone a damaged ECU. This is from a 2000, I believe a 2017 or 18 Ford Focus. And as you can see, the car was in an accident. The ECM got creamed. You got bent pins, you know, all this kind of stuff. It's bent on the board and everything like that. So uh, what we're able to do is still connect to the pins and see if we get access to actually still read the data on the on the flash. So uh, to select this car, it will be the Focus DY and um, it's going to be a 2.0 GDI, which will be this one. And there is the uh, ECM and we go to platform. and uh we can go to wiring diagram and this is the pinout this shows you the pinout that we have to use um and we're already all connected up using this pinout to make this video a little bit faster um watch my other videos if you want more information on that we can click the identification button that's going to communicate with the ecm that's going to tell us if uh we're actually um we have a very a good connection to the ECM. By the way, I am connected with a 12 volt, um, uh, three amp um, power supply, which is necessary because this needs a 12 volt supply. This does not come with the um, FC 200, but if you got LED lights in the house or something like that, you might have one of these laying around, or if you do any kind of technical stuff, you probably got some. So we click identification to check our communication to see if our pinout is correct. And it succeeded, it read the chip. And as you can see, that is our chip. It gave us a serial number and a hard, hardware ID number. So the next unit you clone to, this hardware ID number should be identical to make sure you're um, connected to the same type of device, all right? Uh, and then what you can do is, um, by the way, this modified VIN uh, does not work. Um, so, uh, it's, it doesn't pull up the current VIN, so I don't have confidence in that. I don't think it works for this ECM. Um, what we would do here, we can then read the D flash and the P flash. Um, I'm just going to do the P flash one more time to show you. I've already done this to save some time. And what I did, I went ahead and read it twice. Uh, we're reading it one time right now. And I did a verification just to, um, verify that um reading it twice that there was no corruption and the data was um stable the read was stable i would still do that on uh you know if i um i would perform that if i was um cloning a unit and i just wanted to make sure uh there was no chance of error i would definitely read it twice and compare the data just to eliminate any headaches that you can have with that so you would want to read the D flash and the P flash, then you would be able to write that back to a replacement unit, which we actually have right here. Um, this particular car, I'm not going to actually do it, but I've got the uh, 2017 or I believe 18 uh, 2.0 uh, turbo EcoBoost, which is the same as the Focus ST motor and platform. Uh, so here it is. Uh, we could just save the file as I already saved it twice actually those are the two files up there so and once I saved it I went to the command prompt just to do a comparison to see you know if these two files were the same and as you can see here here are the two files right there and I did a comparison and file compare found no differences and well so there it is guys um, uh, watch for the next video and uh, we'll actually go ahead and clone um, a different model of the Ford PCM. And we're going to see if, um, you know, if the information that we clone, if it actually works and if it'll start the vehicle without any programming or any modifications whatsoever. So stay tuned, like, and subscribe. Like I said, anything you guys want to see, just uh, let me know. All right, little bonus footage, guys. Just for SNGs, I was going into Dodge. I wanted to look under a RAM that I worked on to see if I had an option to change the VIN. 
and I selected it and selected this ECU. And when I went under modify VIN, it actually was able to read the VIN number from this uh, 18 focus ECM. And that is actually correct. So I do believe with confidence if um, on this version of the ECM, you would be able to go under this option or possibly under the Ford and select a similar uh, um, uh, profile and modify the VIN without an issue. Of course, I got to test it on the vehicle to make sure, but I believe this would work. And changing the VIN would not, um, you would still need to flash over your uh, EEPROM data, all that kind of stuff. But definitely, I believe it would change the VIN using this option. Just a quick bonus there, guys. Okay, I went ahead and changed it. Um, I changed the last digit to a uh, three. And let's go back and modify again. And I'm not going to save it. And there it is. It did accept the change. So I'm going to put it back to what it was for. And uh, I think that confirms that this option does work. And of course, I have not tested it, but I do believe that this would work fine for modifying the VIN on this uh, PCM. Do modify again. And let's see if it um, retains the changes. I'm not going to save it because I'm just testing. And there it is. It did change. So I changed it twice. So I believe uh, this option would work. So see you on the next one, guys.